Hello, Jason from Nobula here. Today I'm going to be talking about buttons in uh, Core Pilot. Buttons can be controlled in various different ways through voltages and they can control various different aspects of Core Pilot. At the moment um, I have my button switch set to preset, which means each button will recall a preset. So what can we do with this in terms of modular? Well, if we start by putting in an external gate, um, we can do that. If we um, have a, as you can see here, I've got a voltage sequencer. If I plug that into the buttons, um, I can control which button is selected by a given voltage. So let's leave it on number two. So now this will be a little bit like orbit mode. As this sequences through the different voltages, um, it will select different buttons and play different presets. Very nice. So what else can we do with that? Well, if we select it to modal, it's actually controlling this button here, or this knob here. If we select circle, it'll affect this knob here. Right? Now, the idea is we can use this in combination with BIOS and these controls to effectively create sequences of, of, of chords. I particularly like using modal because modal, um, if I have it set in, in a, a sort of white note mode here, it'll play different modes of that scale or that chord. Go something like this. And I can still change this control. And then back. The uh, conform control, these last three spaces here, will play the, try and play the chord on just the white notes or the, the basically a heptatonic scale of the piano. Um, but as you turn it, you'll get more octaves involved. That's more bunched up, so it's playing inversions. And this is playing the whole across the whole keyboard. Um, and there's a lot you can do with that because uh, you can also use that to say control arpeggios. And you don't have to have it rotating all the time. You can just, or we can stop this from rotating. So there's uh, quite a lot of possibilities just with these two controls. And then we also have a uh, control for the bias, which is this control. So using modal uh, as an external input assigned to the buttons through this button's socket and through this switch can give you quite a lot of possibilities and then additionally, you can get variations of that just by twisting the, the bias control. If you want something a bit simpler, you can go for the, into the middle here, you get simpler chords, like that's just a C scale. If 
I go back to chord mode, it's just playing different inversions of a C scale. And I can transpose that. Or I can go minor. So that's just using the, the, the modal, switching to different modes from a external voltage. I can go back to preset mode and just jump to different presets. And circle. Circle is it's a good idea just to really go between maybe two different ones. There you go, so that shows you some of the possibilities that you can get just hooking up your core pilots into a system to create generative and rhythmic core patterns.